What does the future of transportation look like? Well, back in 1956, it looked like this, the world's first autonomous concept car. These days, the autonomous vehicles that you see on city streets look rather like this. And this, well, this could be from the future. It's half wheel and half propeller. Turn it like that, it rolls along. Turn it like that, and it gives you lift. So let's go and find out what other future technologies are on show here at Geneva. Swiss automotive think tank Rinspeed thinks the best idea is to split cars in half. The concept, called the Microsnap, has an autonomous drive lower section called a skateboard, while the upper section is either passenger car or delivery truck. The chassis and the bodies, or the parts as we call them, are separated and are being used on the skateboard depending on the need of the certain hour of the day, meaning that you transport people in the morning or in the evenings, and in the meantime you deliver parcels and so forth. As cars get smarter, they gather more data for safety and navigation. Swiss firm Weiray has technology to display live information in a hologram on the windscreen. Well, this is a navigation uh, experience and augmented reality. You can see the speed, you, the distance to the next manure. This is a parking experience when you can like, see what is, what is free on the parking lots and how much will it cost to you. Another trend is what's known as mobility as a service. To explain more, we met the head of Traffi, a firm working in Berlin on an app that calculates all your transport options to get from A to B and allows you to compare them. The experience will be that you have integrated a lot of mobility providers, so you're not only having public transit, but you will also see ride pooling service, ride hailing service, taxi, um, bike sharing, car sharing, everything included on our application. New apps and mobility solutions are changing the way we move around our cities. But looking at the crowds here and the product on offer, it's clear many of us remain attached to the concept of owning a shiny new car. Jeremy Wilkes at the Geneva International Motor Show for Euronews.